say what two? Can I say it too? Yes. Welcome back. <laughs> Noel <laughs> hates that. What? That you say? say welcome back. He says, where, where have they been? Well, maybe they went to the bathroom. Maybe they went to get some coffee. Maybe they made we a phone We went away call. to commercials yeah. and stuff there. Welcome back to Good Day Big Bear. <laughs> John, now John, does everybody know that you work for um with extra realty? Yes. <laughs> just lost it for a minute. He doesn't like to toot his own horn, but he too is a knowledgeable I have agent. have been in real estate since 1971. Wow. So, besides Dan Bathurst, John you know, Wells is broker a in several states. Really? I've been we're in a very specialized field for 30 some odd years, that sounds like a really long time, it doesn't does, it? It does, it does. But he's going to give well, us some we're statistics. With that. Yeah, and, and you know, so people are always saying, well, who cares? Because, you know, one of the things that, that we do, and, and I'm sure a lot of realtors do as well, is everybody, if you're a salesperson, mm -hmm. you love it when people come in and say, I want to buy something today. Mm -hmm. Love it. But an informed buyer is so much easier to work with. Somebody that's been watching the market and paying attention. And, it's and like watching you, the stock market, same thing. If you've got a little bit of background and a feel for what's going on, it just it just makes everything work better. Well, yeah, you just don't so, show up surprised yeah. when the market's so So we, we encourage all of our clients, uh, we have some, some free programs that'll keep you up to date with what's going on, price changes and, and in, in a specific area, just a neighborhood or, mm -hmm. or system-wide and paying attention to what goes on so you know where, where the market's at. Absolutely. And the market's always moving. You know, it's always going one way or the other. And uh, as of to this morning, our uh, total residential sale, well, our total transactions, mm -hmm. uh, that's everything, residentials, <laughs> lots, mobile homes, businesses, everything. Uh, we had another, what is that, 20, 24 closings yeah. last week? Wow. Which is not too bad for us. No. You know, I mean, we're, we're a small market. I've told somebody that in San Diego and they go, What's well, a different market? Yeah, that's a, re a lot it's more vacation. Bodies. We had 923. Uh, we had closed as of last Monday. This Monday we're at 947. Okay. Now last year, same week, mm -hmm. for the same time period for the year, only 751 transactions. Yeah, it was slow last year. So we're up 200 and almost 200 uh, transactions for year to date, mm -hmm. and that that's kind of a good number you know you kind of pay attention to what's going on out of that residential uh, out of that 947 796 are residential so the rest are everything else not a lot of businesses being done last year we were at 625 our average sale uh, last year was 238,000 I'm sorry 230,328 this year 235 350 so not a huge difference no. in the market just more people getting involved and going okay well I guess, guess waiting we, didn't do me too much <laughs> good we'll get involved the the out of that uh, 509 of those closings were what, what are called retail uh -huh. you're selling your house uh -huh. okay the other what's she doing she's Is smiling she, look how pretty smiling. she looks she, she's a pretty girl yeah she yeah, it goes oh, she's butcher block. She, she works out at Butcher Block. That's she runs right. their TV station. And she will come and butcher help block you TV. with your nails and hammers and whatever. Not My those nails. nails. Me too. <laughs> 287 of them were foreclosure and short sales. So about 36% of our market are short sales really, and, that much and still? foreclosures. Really? Still. That's well, year to date. Well, in the earlier part of the year, it was a much bigger number right, so right. as we as we work on there. Lots and lands. Uh, we've had 76 uh, lots and, and chunks of land sold this year. So lots that's, and lots. Yeah, and last year this date 52. So we're up 20. What's that? Almost half of what we do were math. last year. <laughs> Morning. So, well, well, and, and the reason why lots are, 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 are an important indicator is, is that people want to build stuff. Right. You know, okay, I'm, I'm feeling more comfortable with what's going they on. They just buy some property and let it sit. If they can't build it right now, at least they'll let it. Yeah, nice At thing least they about, have it. Nice thing about dirt, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Our, uh, we're still running about 45% of our market is cash in the distress sales mm -hmm. and the short sales and foreclosures and stuff. So, and that, that says we still got investors in the market. Well, we and that's the fastest way to, to get a, um, a sh do a short sale is cash. Those we banks are, want those cash yeah. offers. We're starting to see, um, 
a lot more activity and people looking and saying, oh, okay, well, so how does this compare to where we're at down there? And unfortunately, you know, and National Association of Realtors has been saying this forever, every market is local. Mm -hmm. You know, every market is unique and different. And um, when, when we go out of the area to look at real estate, we do it with a realtor. I know yeah. that sounds crazy. No, but you know, they know the lay of the land and they're, they're best informed. And the market and what's going on and what their stats are right. there and what how things are flowing. And it's so critical to have somebody that is is involved in what you're looking at. I mean, we, would you think of doing your own open heart surgery? No, John, not would at all. Would you pull your own tooth? Well, I have on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're a little kid. I'm a big bear, you know. Uh, would you do, I don't know, you know, even people that do their own taxes, unless yeah. it's a pretty, unless it's a short Simple form, tempe, yeah. you know, there's so many variables and, and unfortunately California is still the single most litigious state in the union. More people sue people right. in this state than anywhere. Right. So it's and just best one to have of the an largest areas of lawsuit after personal injury is real estate. People that sell their home by themselves or buy it by themselves without representation. Right. And it's they scary. Re and you don't do that for a living? Yeah, so there's just too much involved they're, they're for you stuff. to be messing so, around. So get a professional, whether it's Exit Realty, Dan or myself, we'd we'll be happy to work with you on any kind of timetable you want to or somebody. But get a local realtor in wherever you're going. And how can they get a hold of you, John? <laughs> Watch Channel 6. I don't... I, <laughs> You can, give us a call, call Dan at 909-878-0552 at speed dial 3 on my phone. Okay. Uh, oh, well, that's why you don't know the numbers. I don't know the numbers. Speed dial 3. I've got, it's, it's all gone. It's all gone. 909-878-0522 <laughs> for more on stats. And we've got all the current listings and shorts. So there's more stats than you can shake a stick at. Uh, you can go to findahomeinbigbear.com. Findahomeinbigbear.com for stats. And, of course, you can get in touch with Dan or I on Exit Realty Big bigbear.com uh, and of course phone number again 909-878-0522 and if you just want to call and go what the heck is going on that's a good question too because there are a couple of laws that are and I know Dan's been preaching about this for a long time there's some scary stuff going on yeah. in the next couple of years that are dramatically changing the 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 makeup of our industry the 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 lawsuit that was lost by Wells Fargo and Bank America and, and on the robo signing and the Cozo Cody prepays and uh, the debt forgiveness, this is this is probably the big one. At the end of this year, there are two laws set to expire, and virtually nobody is talking about it in the legislature. Right. Is she giving us time? Yeah, we, we got to go. But you okay. can call me. And fine find now. out, uh, because when the legislature goes on break at Thanksgiving and they don't come back till after yeah, the first of the year, ain't late. nothing going to happen. Yeah. So find out. Get a professional, do, do yourself a favor, and if you really need to know what's going on Big Bear, never miss Monday with That's Gloria right. Rose. That's right. Well, I want to thank John. Thank you so much for setting, <laughs> sitting in with me, and thank you, and Dan, I hope you feel better. And just one more little thing, when we had Wolf uh, Jim here, mm -hmm. and we had and our Wolf little Fitness? girl, uh, yes, uh, that was here Did looking he for a job. Absolutely, and the program that the um, Career Center instituted to get her this job it's fabulous what they're doing there. We should so, do that here. Well, we should have a find a person a job well, show. Well, we did. Well, that was I my mean, beginning. I mean, on a regular basis. Okay, we are, because there's a lot of kids out there. So thank you so much. We brought them together. The girls got a job, and, and we're good to go. So thank you, Big Bear, for watching, and we hope you'll... Oh, don't forget, you can see us again right after the show till 9 o'clock. 7 to 8 uh, in are the we evening. Are 15 yes. times a day Yes, now. we are, and, to, and tomorrow as well. And you can watch us on Channel 6, BigBear.com. Yes. Listen to us on your radio dial, 87.7. So thank you very much, Big Bear. Make and it a good get news at the top of every hour. Yeah. See you later. Every day and every night, we'll be 